welcome again in this video in the previous video we saw how we can deploy multi container based application into the kubernetes clusters using the ingress controller now in this video we will see how we can how we can install the certificate manager how we can create a ca cluster issuer and we will redeploy the application again using all these additional components so i have some commands we need to install the certificate manager so this is the command first we need to create the label uh, let me use this command to create the label okay actually earlier i had created this label let's use the command to add jetstack and repository i am using the helm and you should aware about the helm what is the helm okay next is the update command i am just updating the repository then i need to install the certificate manager so this is the path where you can download it and use the kubectl command to apply the certificate manager i can use this one okay then install the certificate manager using the helm chart we need helm chart to install the certificate manager actually that is the collection of the yaml files related to the certificate manager i am not going inside the certificate manager yaml files let me copy it execute it okay it is giving me the message install fail cannot reuse a name that is still in use as earlier i had already used this name so okay fine i can reuse the same name okay that is fine then apply the ca cluster issuer let me explain the file uh, that is the cluster issuer file the kind should be cluster issuer and api version that is the version of the certificate manager and type of the certificate manager is the sme that is the location of the sme certificate manager here i can put the my email address and i can provide the name let's encrypt solver is the http using the ingress class is the nginx and that is the port that is the linux for the kubernetes node so let me execute this command cluster issuer that is i am just going to use this yaml file using this command configured okay fine now let's apply the changes so let me explain the ingress file in the ingress file file additionally i have added this line certificate manager under the annotations i have added this line for the certificate manager cluster issue is the let's encrypt and in the specification tls is there for these two host and i have the rules you can have multiple rules depends how many application you have in your solution so i am using the tls someone of you may get confused with the tls and ssl so if i say last version of the ssl that is the 3.1 is the same age tls 1.0 actually this is the same that is used to encrypt the data for http i am going to execute this ingress again using this command run this command you can see that has been done now if i go inside the dns john i cannot see any new thing here because uh, these are the records it already they are only the thing now i will use the 
https so here let's put yeah it's given the result and same for api yes uh, it it has the controller name so same result you can see here i am just actually i am consuming this api inside the front end same result you can see here so if you click on this lock lock icon now here you can see the connection is secure and you can see the certificate is valid and certificate authority you can see and that is coming from the valid certificate authority so that is the way to implement the certificates inside the kubernetes cluster and you can validate the certificate using this command if you want to see the certificate you can go here you can use this command so all these thing you can see in the last step you can see issuing certificate manager certificate issuing the certificate has been successfully issued sometime you can see the issue some and you but you can troubleshoot all this issue very easily if you face any difficulties then you can reach out to me i can explain and you can see the certificate uh, as well uh, let me run the command this is the command you can see the certificate certificate is approved ready and issuer is the let's encrypt so that is the way to implement the certificate into the kubernetes cluster i hope my video will be helpful to implement the certificate into your organization if you feel any difficulties any challenges then you can reach out to me i will be happy to assist you that's it in this video in the next video i will see you again with the new topic till then happy learning